Shiv Sena rebel leader Eknath Shinde will be the next Maharashtra Chief Minister. This is a completely surprise develop. This is an entirely surprise development. The BJP's Devendra Farnavis said this on th uh, earlier today. A move that very few saw coming. This is nothing but a political bombshell. It capped the coup in the Shiv Sena that unseated Uddhav Thakre a day back. I will stay out of the government and ensure it runs smoothly, is what Devendra Farnavis said, announcing that Mr. Shinde will be sworn in at 7.30 p.m. No other minister will take oath, is what the BJP leader said, Mr. Farnavis. Eknath Shinde thanked the Prime Minister, Mr. Farnavis and other leaders as well. He said it's their magnanimity, they had a bigger mandate, yet they made me the Chief Minister. Who does that? Devendra Farnavis and Eknath Shinde met the Governor Bhagat Singh Koshiari and staked claim to power earlier this afternoon. Uddhav Thakre quit his Maharashtra Chief Minister yesterday, shortly after the Supreme Court ruled that he must prove his majority. The Shiv Sena chief was left with only 13 MLAs after the revolt that played out in three BJP ruled states. Eknath Chinde and a group of rebels first moved to Gujarat Surat. They were flown to Guwahati in chartered flights. They eventually came back to Goa. That's where they are now, other than Mr. Shinde, who came across to Mumbai, and it is now all clear for him. He's going to be completely un unexpectedly the next chief minister of Maharashtra. The big fight now, the big question now is over the Shiv Sena as well. What is the real Shiv Sena? If he's the chief minister and he says that he is the dominant faction, the numbers are clearly with him, then what, where does this leave Udav Thakre and his camp? Uh, and is there going to be a legal battle going forward? These are images of celebrations of all of those MLAs uh, who are still in Goa. As you can see, this is after the phone call came saying that Mr. Eknath Shinde will be the chief minister. And uh, <coughs> so as you can see, several supporters of the BJP and I believe some of these gentlemen are MLAs themselves, uh, might in fact, uh, are, are clearly celebrating. All right, uh, well, lots of reactions coming in. As you can see, overjoyed supporters of the BJP. If I'm not mistaken, these are some of the rebel BJP MLAs. I'm not sure if you can use the word rebel anymore. Uh, Eknath Shinde is going to be the chief minister. He's clearly a part of the Shiv Sena. So the Shiv Sena coming back in power. But how this figures, uh, how this figures legally going forward, who takes ownership of the symbol of the Shiv Sena, that's going to be decided by the Election Commission. No clear or no easy answers to that. Several other reactions coming in. Let's listen in. भारतीय जनता पक्षाने हा निर्णय केला की आम्ही सत्तेच्या पाठीमागे नाही आहोत कुठल्या तरी मुख्यमंत्री पदाकरता आम्ही चालत काम करत नाही आहोत ही तत्वांची लढाई आहे ही हिंदुत्वाची लढाई आहे ही विचारांची लढाई आहे आणि म्हणून भारतीय जनता पक्षाने हा निर्णय केला की श्री एकनाथ शिंदे साहेब यांना भारतीय जनता पार्टी समर्थन देईल आणि श्री एकनाथ शिंदे हे मुख्यमंत्री होतील मैं इस सरकार को पूरे तरीके से सहयोग करूंगा मैं सरकार के बाहर रहूंगा और इस सरकार को सफल बनाने हेतु जो जो चीज करना आवश्यक है ऐसी सारी चीजें हम मिलकर करेंगे मेरा विश्वास है आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी ने जो विकास का एक नया पर्व शुरू किया है उस विकास के पर्व को ढाई साल का जो ब्रेक लगा था वो ब्रेक निकलेगा और फिर से महाराष्ट्र की प्रगति की एक्सप्रेस ये तेजी के साथ भागेगी और उसके लिए मैं श्री एकनाथ शिंदे जी को बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूं हिंदुत्व 
त्यांची भूमिका आणि जे आमदार आहेत त्यांच्या मतदारसंघातली विकास कामं आणि राज्याचा विकास हा अजेंडा घेऊन आम्ही पुढे निघालेलो आहोत आणि शिवसेना पक्ष म्हणून जे काय कायदेशीर प्रक्रिया जी आहे नियम आहे टू थर्ड मेजॉरिटी आहे त्याहीपेक्षा जास्तीचे आमदार आणि सहयोगी आणि अपक्ष आमदार असे जवळपास पन्नास आमदार आज आम्ही एकत्र आहोत गेले काही दिवस एकत्र आहोत एक वैचारिक भूमिका एक राज्याचा विकास आणि जे काही अडीच वर्षापूर्वी घडलं ते आपल्या सगळ्यांना माहीत आहे All right, an entirely unexpected development. Eknath Shinde is going to be the Chief Minister, not Devendra Fadnavis. Joining us now, Ninajan Chetty, spokesperson of the Maharashtra BJP, Chandrasekhar Jha of the Shiv Sera. Thank you both very much for being with us. Uh, Ninajan Chetty, let me come to you first. A master stroke then that uh, Devendra Fadnavis isn't just the king, he's the king maker. And therefore, what does this actually mean for the BJP in Maharashtra? I think, uh, you know, uh, first of all even i being a student of the politics uh, it would be uh, has come as a surprise to me as well but then uh, let's go ahead if uh, our leader has planned something for the betterment of the maharashtra and the development of maharashtra so let's see how things develop all right let's see how things uh, develop chandrashekar jha what does this mean for the shiv sena what is the shiv sena is it the eknath shinde group or is it the uddhav thakre group from a legal standpoint where do you stand uh let me tell you frankly uh, shiv sena belongs to uh, thakres and it will belong to the thakres without thakres there is no shiv sena and let me tell you clearly these uh, issues which are coming up that uh, shiv sena is divided these are wrongly sent issues by bjp and uh, let me make you clear that what has happened today is that whether this government will run for uh, how many days we have to also see no but how how do you say that i mean the numbers are clearly with eknath shinde uh the the petition is also pending in uh, supreme court on 11th it is uh, going to be heard but the supreme so, court uh, actually allowed a floor test to take place it was udhav thakre ji who quit first so in any event the uh, this government has to also uh, prove its majority on the floor do you have any doubt that they had, uh, that they have the numbers uh, did, are you certain that they Uh, do you have any doubt about them having the numbers mr jha there 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 is a serious doubt otherwise bjp w- w- is supporting why, why, from why outside why why is there a doubt are you in touch BJP with the bjp from outside that is the serious doubt no, no but CP. why i i mean are, are you in touch is is the shiv sena or the thakre in touch uh, with these rebel please, mlas are not claiming the uh, cm uh, chief minister shiv is itself an obligation from their side that they are also not relying on this doubt All right. I'm not sure how you can say that, though, Mr. Jha. Are you in touch with these rebels who are saying that they are still under duress and that they want to come back to the Uddhav Thakre camp? We, we belong to original Shiv Sena, not the rebels. So you are not in talk. You are not in any conversation with them at all. No. Okay. Um, Niranjan Chetty, from a legal standpoint, how is this going to work? Uh, is I mean, I I realize that you. you have sort of bypassed or appear to have bypassed the anti defection proceedings is that why this decision has been taken that you know you need to make eknath shinde the chief minister because if that shiv sena didn't merge with the bjp which they were reluctant to do then it would have been a problem with anti defection so therefore the only move was that you make him chief minister since he has the numbers he is the real shiv sena or the only shiv sena and therefore anti defection is avoided was that the thinking of the bjp i think uh, let's not uh, read too much into it vishnu at this juncture i could only say that whatever mr jha spoke as a shivsena spoke person i would only say that it is the floor of the house that he has to be majority if his leader mr uddhav ji thakre was so confident he could have faced the no confidence motion and proved that you know that the no confidence motion that is been moved against him 
he could have won that uh, no trust motion but having said that again uh, he has voluntarily resigned now they have no moral ground to you know speak any such thing that it is his responsibility let him prove no No, but so what about the disqualification proceedings, Mr. Shetty? I'm just trying to understand think, how, how would that work. I think that is subjudicial. I think that is subjudicial, and I would not like to comment on that. No, but why is it subjudicial? It's not. It's not subjudicial. It's, it's supposed to take place in the it, assembly. It is before the Supreme Court. I think it is before the Supreme Court, and no, no, it's uh, it's not before the Supreme Court. The floor yeah. test was before yeah, the Supreme before Court. The Supreme Court said do it. And then, as far as disqualification proceedings, they have just said that it will happen later on, as scheduled. So there is nothing no, subjudice think, about I, it per se. What I heard from what, if you what I heard through, through your channel or many other channels, that Tushar Mehta, who is the, uh, you know, he uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he spoke about that. Uh, he specifically mentioned that uh, the vice president or uh, the sorry, the vice speaker does not have the authority to such kind of when a motion is against him, no confidence motion is against him. So that is a part of debate in the Supreme Court, and uh, as soon as the floor test has been taken or whatever the government has to face, the new government or uh, the in incumbent, he and will take the decision. Okay, uh, Chandrasekhar Jha, you know it's all going to boil down to the role of the deputy speaker going forward. How would this necessarily work? If there is a floor test tomorrow, there is bound to be a floor test. It's clear that you don't have the numbers. The BJP and this faction of the Shiv Sena come to power. Then will they not be entitled to have a speaker or a deputy speaker of their own? Because if they do, then the deputy speaker you are counting on to push forward with the disqualification proceedings may not be there on the chair anymore. Uh, see, this is a legal issue which requires to be adjudicated by the Honorable Supreme Court. Because two things have been challenged: the one is the power of the deputy speaker, and second is the disqualification by the rebels. Now these two issues have to be addressed before the Honorable Supreme Court. Now, even if these issues are going against Shiv Sena, eventually the Sindhya camp has to prove that they are having an uh, affiliation of a party or they are affiliated with a party. Otherwise, also they could not sustain because they are elected MLAs of Shiv Sena. Mr. Jha, how confident are you of retaining the support of your existing MLAs, the thirteen or fourteen of them? uh see uh, it will be shown uh, on the floor itself uh, we are very much confident and are, and do you believe that there could still be a possibility of any crossover from the from this dissident camp back to your fold uh see the politics uh, revolves around issues so i believe that the issues at this moment again will be created into some another issue you that doesn't answer my question Do you believe they'll come back to your camp on the floor? Yes, on the floor. You believe so? Yes. Or you're hoping against hope at this stage? We we don't uh, create hopes, but uh, we believe that uh, the situation might uh, change. Mr. Jha, how would you react to those who are saying that this is a masterstroke done by the BJP to essentially make Udhav Thakre and Aditya Thakre irrelevant in the politics of Maharashtra? Eknath Shinde uh, being projected it, it is not as the dominant master leader. Stroke. The uh, main master stroke will come from Shiv Sena itself. Uh, we are waiting for that time and opportunity. Let, let the BJP also see what master stroke we have to be. And is that master stroke in the elections in the future that you're talking about, or do you believe you have a master stroke prior to that? That, that there'd be yet another a twist in this. Is that what you are alluding to? uh see uh, there are twists and in future it will come so you i suppose if i were to ask you what that twist would be you wouldn't answer my question right let the time say all right uh let me just uh, let me go back to uh, to to niranjan shetty at this stage mr shetty i found it somewhat strange that devendra fadnavis said that he wouldn't sort of uh, be a part of the government per se uh, i mean uh, why why would that be the case I think it's a party's legislative decision. As I said, as a student of politics, even I was unaware what actually has transpired. So uh, as, as soon as the development comes out, but I would only like to, you know, uh, state as far as Mr. Jai is, uh, you know, stating that uh, there will be a master stroke. I think he's forgetting that uh, whatever he's been speaking right now. He has lost those, all those opportunities, especially when uh, the uh, Chinle faction mentioned that they have been speaking to their leader. 
this is Uddhav Thakre for part one and a half year. Even we could hear Deepak Sesarkar. That you know, it was umpteen times that they have got to the notice of their leader. But unfortunately, they had to break away from them and only because of this reason, they had run away and uh, I am uh, extremely sorry. They had uh, separated themselves and they wanted and today they are claiming that, you know, they themselves are is the original Shiv Sena. So the time is for the introspection for the Shiv Sena people and the leaders. All right, a time of introspection for the Shiv Sena and its leaders. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, both of you. So let's see what finally takes place. Thanks very much indeed. All right, we're going to take a short break at this stage, come back with the very latest in case you've not been following the news. How is that even possible? Ekna Chinde is going to be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, not Devinder Fadnavis. Some people calling it a masterstroke. Where does this leave the Shiv Sena? What is the real Shiv Sena? Lots of questions being asked on that.